In this video, we will be unboxing the rotary table and setting it up to be used with the Ferro Imager. Take out the Cobalt rotary table, USB cable, power adapter and power cord. Plug the USB cable into the back of the rotary table. Plug the other end into the back of the Cobalt. Then, connect the power adapter to the rotary table and the power cord to AC power. The rotary table will then run through its startup procedure which sets the rotary table home position. Once the rotary table has stopped moving, attach the rotary table extension plate using the provided four screws and hex key. Ensure the targets are clean and in good condition. Replace any damaged targets and ensure there are between 7 and 12 targets on the plate. Now we're ready to calibrate and align to the rotary table. Position the rotary table in the cobalt's field of view, ensuring that the angle between the camera and the table surface is greater than 30 degrees. If needed, use the camera view with range finder to adjust the position of the cobalt to the rotary table so that it is at the correct distance. To start the calibration procedure, first click Utilities, then click Functions, followed by Calibrate in the Rotary Table section of the Utilities dialog window. This will calibrate the rotary table movement in reference to the targets on the extension plate. This step is only required each time the targets are removed or added to the extension plate or when a different cobalt device is connected to the rotary table being used. If rotary table calibration fails, ensure targets are visible in the live view and that the distance is correct. Take a single scan of the rotary table with targets enabled and see how many targets show up. If the targets do not appear after a manual scan of the top of the rotary table, refer to Cobalt Troubleshooting for guidance. After the rotary table calibration is successful, the Cobalt can be repositioned to the optimal position for scanning the part. 